There are a few things you need to know if you choose to go for blowing out your system with a compressor. While it is easier and cheaper, it is a generally less thorough process than going the antifreeze route. And while you won't have to worry about flushing the antifreeze out of your system come spring, blowing out doesn't always get every last bit of water and there will probably still be portions of the system that you will have to drain manually. Before we start, you're also going to make sure that you have a blowout plug that hooks up to your public water inlet. This also gives you something to hook the air compressor up to. Call your local RV store, they should have this one in stock. Hook up the air source. Set it for a maximum of 50 pounds per square inch. After pressure has been applied, go through the rig and starting with the fixtures closest to the inlet, open them briefly. Let the air pressure blow out all of the water. Don't forget the shower head and the outside shower if you've got one. Remember to flush the toilet and use the toilet sprayer if there is one. Once you have done all of the rig's fixtures, most of the water should be out of your fresh water system. Disconnect the air source and release any remaining pressure by turning on a faucet. Remove the outlet line and inlet line from your fresh water pump. You'll have to drain them manually. The check valve in the pump prevents the air from clearing these lines. Remove any cartridge from any under sink filter and make sure the fixture is drained. Your fresh water system should now be in good shape for the winter storage months. All right, now we should have the plumbing system pretty well ready for the winter. However, there are still a few little details that we need to attend to. You're going to want to pour a small amount of antifreeze down each drain in your vehicle in order to protect the traps. And you're going to have to close the toilet flush valve and pour some antifreeze into the toilet itself. It's also a good idea to make sure that you close the black and gray water tank valves before you put the vehicle into storage. If you don't, you risk damaging the seals which could lead to leaks later on. Okay, with the big job out of the way, let's deal with the rest of the vehicle. Make sure you get any freezable food items or liquids out of the vehicle. Check all the cabinets and storage areas and make sure you've gotten it all out. Even canned food should be taken out since they could freeze and split open. Clean out and shut down the fridge and leave the doors propped open before you put the rig into storage. Close the LP gas tank valves. Retract all of the slide outs and retract and stow any of the awnings. If you're going to be keeping your rig at a site where AC power isn't readily available to you, then you really should be taking the batteries out and putting them into storage. If you don't, they could freeze over the winter. It's also a good idea to charge the battery once a month as well as checking the water levels. Keeping the batteries fully charged will make them less likely to freeze. For safety's sake, make sure you store your battery in a well-ventilated area where it won't be exposed to sparks or extreme heat. If you choose to leave the batteries in the vehicle over the winter, make sure you disconnect them so that they won't be unnecessarily drained while not in use. Make sure to top off the charge every month just as you would do if you had removed the batteries. Leave the batteries connected and check the water level once a month if you're going to keep the rig connected to shore power. If you do remove or disconnect the batteries, make sure that you unplug the AC supply to the 12 volt converter. Cover up and secure all of the external vents so that no animals can get in. 
use duct tape on the smaller access holes. Check the tire pressure. Be sure to bring all of the tires up to the maximum pressure rating as indicated by the sidewall. You can cover the tires for extra protection against weather and sun damage. If you've got a motorhome, top off the gas tank to keep the condensation out. You can also get a fuel stabilizer from your local supply store. Check your radiator's antifreeze. Add or replace antifreeze as needed. You should change the oil and filter before you put everything away. For diesel rigs, follow the manufacturer's recommended storage procedures. Try to leave at least one screened window open a crack with one of the roof vents open opposite. So long as the air is kept flowing through the rig, you should be free of mold and mildew. Well, there you have it. Now that we have everything squared away, we'll see you next time.